I'm Professor Tom Allen at the Department of Political Science and Geography at Old Dominion University. We're out here flying drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, mapping uh, coastal geomorphology, False Cape State Park. We're looking at dunes, beaches, uh, the vegetation and landforms. Uh, we're out here right after Hurricane Florence, and we are doing a, a survey, part of a, a periodic mapping effort to better understand the rate of change of the island. So we've got uh, research permits and uh, quite a bit of logistics in the background of this effort to uh, you know, follow FAA regulations and so forth uh, to prepare to go out here and, and basically uh, fly the drones, uh, follow a specific mission kind of plan at certain altitudes, certain resolution of uh, photography, aerial imagery that we take. And then we bring that back into the computer labs and we then uh, process that to create uh, digital elevation and uh, aerial photographic uh, maps. And we do our, a lot of our research analysis based on that data. Term, uh, we're kind of tracking the changes as a result of individual storms. Storms are kind of like the cutting teeth of coastal change. And then you have other long-term changes, whether that's sea level rise, human modification of the coast. Uh, over the long run, we'll be interested to see how the impact of coastal erosion, inlet opening, and other things may affect uh, Back Bay, the Northwest River, the Southern Watersheds, Virginia Beach, and Currituck Sound. That would help. really help inform a much broader regional understanding of how Hampton Roads is going to uh, see sea level rise impact it.